Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to take you a little bit through networking different consoles in Titan and uh, how the different ways you can do that and how they're useful. So, what we're going to what we're going to show you first is essentially all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to say you're going to start with on your Titan console. You're going to go to Avo and Setup, and you're going to press Network Settings. And what it's going to show you here is the Ethernet, the uh, the IP address of your current console you're working on, whether that be a one of their one of Avalite's you know quartz through Arena, what whatever you ha may have there, or your your mobile or your Titan One. Uh, it's going to show you your IP address here for the one you're working on, and then. What we're also going to do, you're going to make sure that that matches up with the one on your other console, which is our arena, which we'll show. And it should match up to where it says something like 169.254. Dot whatever you may be. It will have to be different, uh, different on the last two numbers from your, from console to console, whatever that may be. So back on our on our Titan mobile surface here. You'll see I'm still pulled up to what our IP address is on the our computer we're working with, which matches up to what it should because we are uh we are we have successfully throughout these videos been networked between the consoles. But at the moment I am not connected to the arena as far as I am not in the same Titan Net session, and we'll get into that. So you'll press disk on your console, and you'll go into Titan Net sessions, and you'll show sessions view. And this screen will pop up with your uh, with your Titan server session settings. And what you're going to do, you'll need to if there's different sessions here, you'll have to click on the one that you want. But since we just have the one, all I'm going to have to do, I'm going to check everything here again. This is another place you can see this. You can see. Our arena is hooked up to 169.254.213.16 and over here we're the same except we're .30.21. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press this connect button here and it's going to open a, another window and you can connect as three different kinds. You can, you can connect as a backup which we'll kind of show you that real quick it'll take it a second but essentially all this will do is you'll have access to the show should should your other console your master console go down and again the, the session that you're connecting to is always the master console you can see here our our arena is connected there and we're connected as a backup on our titan mobile surface i can sync to save up what i'm doing i can take over the session if i need to there's a few other settings here. You can change the, whatever user you're under. For right now, I'm under operator user on my on my Titan Surface, my Titan Mobile Surface. So we're going to exit this session again, and uh, kind of kind of go back into what we just had. You can see when you when you exit the session, it gives you a backup save. We're just going to go back to this quick save that was there. You can see we're in safe mode, it took us out of safe mode, and we're going to do that same thing again. And what we're going to do, we're going to open up our sessions view, it's going to open on my external screen for now. Now it's back, so what we're doing is, all we're going to do is connect. My other window also opened up on my external screen, so I'll have to switch that over. You can see we still have the same options. In this case, I'm just going to connect as a multi-user because connecting as a backup and multi-user will do the same thing we just did, uh, except you can you can work with the session as well 
and you'll still be live should your should your master console go down. But we'll, we'll connect as a multi-user for now, and it'll it'll load up, it'll initialize the show, and you can see kind of what we've been working on in past videos, our, our colors, and and so on and so forth. And our workspaces are all synced up and everything. And now we are connected from our uh, our arena to our Titan Mobile here. You can, if I go over and record something on the arena, I'm just going to kind of move something around real quick. You can see, what, as soon as I did that, something popped up here. That's another queue that we had that I've just, I just copied from one place on the arena to the other, and it successfully did it here as well. If this is how you want to run your show, you can do that. You can, you can have it as a, uh, as a mobile if you hook it up through a router you can have it as a as kind of a mobile workstation with a Titan 1 something something along those lines if you wanted to do that you can you have a few different options there um, you can have two people kind of working to build a show uh, three people working to build a show however many you may need uh, so what we're going to do here now is because if I save something I'm gonna walk back over to the arena for a second, and I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna move one of our masters over to a fader that the Titan Mobile doesn't have. And you can see that I've taken this master and I've moved it to some faders that the arena has on its left side that the Titan Mobile does not have. And I can access that through Show Library, as you've seen before. There it is. I can pull it back to wherever I want to if I want it. I can control it from there if I need to. But a lot of times we don't really want to do that. What we'd rather do, and I'm just going to move it back real quick, and it's going to move back on both. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go into my user settings through my workspace window. I'm going to have to change my current user if I uh, if I want to have any different options from the master console. So I'm going to change it back to mine, which you've kind of seen me as the user up here throughout. And what we can do is we can go down to handles, go to the bottom, and you, can, you see this mapping world here. What this does is once I click on it, you can see I have world follow world page change enabled at the moment, just so I can walk from console to console if I need to. But I'm going to turn that off for now because I, I, I don't really want to do that once I do what I'm doing. You can select a handle world if you already have some made out. You can add, delete, or rename ones. What we're going to do now is we're going to add one because we don't have another one created. I'm just going to call this one Map 2. Press OK. It's going to give you options to where you can start afresh or you can start kind of with what you've had in the show before we're gonna start we're gonna start empty and you can see I have nothing created I have no I don't have any workspaces I don't have any fixtures I don't have anything like that and I can pull all of those from the show library if I need to so I can go in and pull all the fixtures back pull all the groups back all the palettes to wherever I needed them to be that anything I have I can access through the show library and bring it back uh, anywhere I may need to so if I want if I want my three uh, three cues that were there we're gonna copy them well actually since they're unassigned we'll just move them so we're gonna select all three we're gonna move them back right where they were you can see now it's it's went from unassigned to right back where I had them before. You can go through and do this with with anything. You can go through and move your fixtures back around. You know, in, in our fixtures video, we moved everything around to where we kind of wanted it to be on the stage. If you're, if you're a linear person and you want to instead have all your, everything on just in a line, if you want to just do that, you can do that. But none of this is going to affect what the other person's screen looks like and uh, that's just how that's gonna work so we're gonna we're gonna go in and do this again 
We're going to create another handle world. We're going to call this one map three. And we're going to base it on mapping world one. And you can see once I've, I'm in map three and everything's kind of back the way it was. But if I move any of this around, I have to exit this. make sure that we're not on the same we are on the same world here which is okay but once I once I change that around I can move anything to any kind of place that I want and it's not gonna do it on our on our arena over there which is nice so that's kind of how you how you can ha kind of maximize your your workspace kind of and if you have multi users going on you can move things around as you need to and and that kind of thing but that's uh that's a little bit about networking and thanks for watching today and give us a call if we can do anything else for you <laughs>